All right, so um, I got this cheap hay spear that I bought off of eBay mounted, and I'm getting ready to spike the first bale um, to see how it does and see if there's anything else I need to tweak to uh, make sure that uh, it's strong enough to lift the bales. Um, like I said, this is going to be the first one I spike with this uh, spike, and uh, we'll see what it does. I got the camera mounted on a magnetic stand. It vibrates like hell. I got to figure out how to alleviate the vibration, so you got to excuse that. And um, this right here will give a bird's eye view of uh, the first spike, and we'll see how it, uh, how it acts. Well, the spike went in really well and picked it up. I didn't see a whole bunch of um, slop in the top spike. I didn't run it all the way through to the stabilizers, but I'm pretty sure it would have been the, the same result. Um, went in really uh, well, and it definitely slid off uh, well. And um, the bike ended up uh, on the side, and I used the spike to flip it back down I didn't see any flex in the spear um, so um, it, it did what it's supposed to do it didn't snap it didn't break um, or do anything like that and I guess as long as you don't do anything crazy like slamming into it and jerking or just basically abusing it anything that you abuse is going to break anyway um, as long as you basically do what you're supposed to do and don't act like a maniac. It should uh, move plenty of hay bales for you. Um, one thing I thought about doing was to go ahead and welding um, the spike in there if it becomes loose, but it I'll see what it does um, to the point where I can tack it in there and then cut it off if I need to replace the, the spike. Um, and the same goes for the stabilizers that are down there like the stabilizers just have the little indention that uh is in there so might weld that don't know <laughs> 